Hello folks and welcome to Rambles and Preambles. Um, we are back playing more Batman. Uh, hopefully I have solved the issue with the frame rate. Um, I tried it on Thursday morning it still didn't work. I tried it on Thursday night and managed to get it synced up with the video. So hopefully this should work. Hopefully. <coughs> If not, I really have no clue what I'm going to do. Um, I've had to lower it to 30 frames per second and I hope that that works. But. It's me. We shall see. As it was all synced up while I was playing it, so technically it should record like that. But. But thank you very much for everyone that commented on the first part of the video, even though the audio was horribly out of sync. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions. Hopefully I should be doing some more soon. Um, I'll try and get at least another two episodes done, as long as it records okay. She was really after him. Pretty sure he did stop him from doing it because he uh, threw a bag at the wall. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Nearly fell off a building for this? Well, it was obviously worth it. Maybe. So I did record this bit on Thursday but my internet crapped out just after this part so I haven't actually played any further through and I haven't made any choices or anything like that so I don't even really know much except talking to Alfred but I didn't really think that changes anything at all in the story. bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court and a movie theatre and yet I always find you here in a dark damp cave. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne. Quit your assassin, I don't pay you for your mouth. Cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different. Oh, it's Mamba Gotham, who knew? This is a map of the east side shore. It's not really a puzzle, guys. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Seven. picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. Yeah, I mean, you're not even at 1% yet. I'm surprised you even managed to get a fucking map out of it. I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Yeah, I totally remember that. I'll ass. check the codex. Mm. 
Founder. Basically, he doesn't know anything. Not much to find, apparently. It's obviously a good cab over. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Well, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's <laughs> exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out, pal. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. Now, oh, maybe if you were a little than better with the blusher and be makeup careful. and shit, they wouldn't have I noticed have a it. job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Uh, <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. You think he's looking for a handout? He would have come to the right person. No, because I'm... Because you're generous. A little too much sometimes. With your wealth, your time, and even your well-being. Even though you and uh, young Master Cobblepot used say. to be close. I'd advise that, you to be cautious. Oh, that's supposed, supposed to be Penguin? Mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful. Oh, when you see what's become of this part, show. I think you will. Not happy about that one. And knowing some of the comic books, his origin story means that the Wayne family put his family out of business. But most of the time, he looks well. He usually is a lot older than Bruce slash Batman. Where are you? So it's not part of the Arkhamverse story then, because he was around before Batman as a criminal. Where'd you get my number from? There's the statue, but no Oz. Very nice, Just trying to be chatty. Yeah, 
It made my earlier comment from the last one about them not being a kill off characters might not necessarily be true then, because it looks like they're allowed to do whatever the fuck they want with the backstory. I might not have been that pissed about it if they did the Tommy Elliot story, um, because him and Bruce were friends slash enemies when they were younger. Watch Wallet Cash. This goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. You're making a mistake. You already made Not a Jedi, bud. Come in here. The next one kills you. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. The moment! Come here. I think that'll do. Stay down. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Bruce, you've got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. Woo, that was a right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, exactly. After what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. Wow. Your family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used See, to run they're, the same they're doing the Tommy people. Elliott story. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Wasn't invited. He himself right at home. Hey, you. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high. Ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And. It'd be a treat to watch him hit pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Dude, it's fucking dark. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to He's you, too tall. Bruce. 
I suppose they're going for a uh, in any direction. You Gotham break a window that style. Wayne Enterprise is owned. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham bliss. But when my revolution starts, we're going to smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. That's a battle you won't win, Oz. No. Oh, I've learned a thing or three since we were kids. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Fuck you, penguin. He doesn't really look anything like a penguin. I like it the way it is, it kind of looks like a castle. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. He's getting jealous, huh? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental me. health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for it years to work. come. Mr. It never Wayne does. has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Word. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm a... Uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? We should tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. All right, who's up next? 
Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the it's Tribune. Probably a bad idea. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Fucking welcomed. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Uh-oh. Maybe we should have been a bit nicer to Falcone. Ah, fuck him. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to? It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I got a survey. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your yeah. neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Well, that Cobblepot thing was BS, but this bit's pretty good. Oh... Uh... Seriously. Break my shit, will you? Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You you don't have to do this. Bruce? 
I didn't mean to interrupt, but... It's okay, I was just having a flashback. Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they, they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after oh, me Coney, come on we know this obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet carmine falcone wants me to be in his pocket he crashed harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said hop in well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. I'm Batman. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Yeah. Goodbye, Miss Vale. He's gonna beat it with his fists. Time to go, Batman. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Time to break some bitches. Right, folks, I'm going to end it there just so the video doesn't overrun and we will be back in the next one. I'm just going to check on the video to make sure it recorded okay and if it does, I will start recording in the next one. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Please uh, leave a like if you liked it, uh, comment down below, and subscribe, etc, etc, and I'll see you again soon.